tell me if this sounds familiar. You have a client coming for a design review, and you need a simple and elegant way to display your design and its functionality. Are you going to use 2D drawings? Try to navigate the design software? Enter SolidWorks Composer, a software dedicated to creating a variety of deliverables from your existing CAD files. In this new series of videos, we take you through the whole process, from importing your existing assemblies, to creating animations, technical illustrations, and more. In this video, we'll go over importing your existing assemblies and navigating them within Composer. Let's start by clicking the File tab, Open, and then navigating to our relevant assembly. Click Open, and watch as your assembly is converted into a Composer file. Now, we can see the full assembly in what is referred to as the viewport. If we move our cursor over particular pieces, you can see they're highlighted in green. With a left click, we can select the piece, and with a click in the background, we can deselect it. We can do the same thing in the Assemblies tab in the left pane. Left click a piece to select it, and click the background to deselect. These subassemblies are also part of our top level file. We can look inside them by clicking on this arrow then select their pieces in the same way as the others. We can also select multiple pieces at the same time using the control and shift keys. We click one, hold control, click another, we can select multiple. And we can do this indefinitely. To use the shift key, choose two endpoints, click one, hold shift, and click the other to select all the ones in between. We're frequently referring to the same group of parts, we can create a selection set. Let's make one for these washers. We'll select them all, and then go to the Create Selection Set button at the top. We'll name this one Washers. And now if we want to perform an operation on our washers, let's say Translate, we click Washers, go to the Translate operation, and you can see that all of our washers moved at once. Let's undo this. Now we need to talk about how to navigate in the viewport. We have three main tools to do so, one being the rotate, one being the zoom, and one being the pan. All three of these operations are controlled using the center mouse button. We can zoom by scrolling the mouse wheel. We can rotate by holding it down and moving the mouse. And we can pan by holding control and the center mouse button, then moving the mouse. If you ever want to return your piece into a more convenient position, click Home, go to Align Camera, and pick any of these default positions. So is there a way to save these views? There is. Go to the Views tab in the left panel and select either the Create View or Create Camera View button. A camera view saves the camera orientation whereas a standard view will save both the camera orientation and the locations of your parts. Let's create one of each to see what they do. I click the Create Camera View button, rename it, and call it Camera Default. Then let's create a standard view. Let's just name this one Default. Now let's say we're moving our piece around and that we select some parts. These parts are getting moved around. So we want to return this to the way it was. If we click the camera view and drag it in, you'll see that the camera changes, but the parts I moved are in their new position still. If we want to return them, we need to use a standard view. Same way, click, drag, and they return to their original position. Views are an essential piece of Composer used in making technical illustrations, assemblies, and more. Next video, we'll talk about using the Explode View and Translate tool to manipulate your assembly and create more detailed views. We hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe to the SolidWorks Composer channel and check out the blog and forums for more fantastic Composer content. We'll see you next time.